these are such a find. These are £8.49. Wow. They go up to 200 Celsius. Is it Celsius? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. Very hot. And every, yeah, really hot. But also great for boys and girls, and you can do all your twizzling. I don't know about you, my hair doubles in size when I go on holiday. Yeah. So a bit embarrassing. So they're, uh, tiny. they're actually crucial for me. Travel size, yeah, they're cool. They're so good. Again, well. compact. Now, I was talking about the sushi mat, but this yeah. happens to be actually my favourite. So, a lot of brush rolls are very expensive, and a lot of people are looking after so their brushes. So, your makeup brush rolls. Yeah, yeah, so you're kind of like, I mean, this is one I did earlier, if you have a look here. Look how pretty that is. And it's just simply a sushi mat and some elastic. And all you so do. The sushi mat is where they put the leaves and things yeah, and then they roll it. And then up. roll it. Yeah. So, you can buy them from supermarkets, really easy to get hold of. What I do is I like to line up all my brushes mm. and space them. And then all you do is take the elastic and you're threading it through. Now, you might think it's hard to get through the bamboo, so just take some little, um, you know, toothpicks, mm -hmm. wedge it in, and then simply pull it through. Mm -hmm. Take that out and just slip Can your brush. See, I don't really want to see this because we're not above Can you see you. that? So, Try literally, I've just threaded it in and out. You're yeah. weaving it through. So, so you get your sticks. So, literally, get your sticks, ram it through, and then you can simply weave in and out. You're not going to want to take your entire kit. This is where I really struggle when I go on holiday. So, I love a palette. A palette that has multiple use. So, in these palettes, you have the sleek palette here, beautiful colours, really natural tones. You've got bronzers and blushes. Yeah. And then you've also got the stiller one, a little bit more expensive. That one's £28. I think this one's 10 Again, you blushes. Steve also said the other day, if you put a uh, cotton wool pad inside it and you shut it, it doesn't smash. Oh! When you're travelling, thought you'd oh, like I'm that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to try that. Idea. But I love them because also you can do highlighters, so they're shimmery, but the colours are great for any ages, but also any skin tone as well. Yeah. And then another thing that I'm a huge fan of is multi products. These are lip and cheeks. So this one, you've got the Body Shop one here. This is a little bit more of a glossy texture. So again, it's very, very natural. You pop it on your cheek and you just dab it, so it looks like you've just naturally run up some stairs. You know, that flush <laughs> look that we all love. And then this one here, this one's from Estee Lauder. This is my kind of medium range. Beautiful. This is very brand new out. Again, really lovely on the cheeks. Have a try. I yeah. actually really like that one. And then oh. this one here is Smashbox. This one's a little bit more expensive. Again, all the prices will be on the website. Go and on, pop them on really cheeks. pretty. I look like Aunt Sally. Just a little, just a little. A little bit goes a long way. Just a tap, tap, Holly. No, oh, yeah, sorry. Tap, yeah. No. How's that? Yeah, beautiful. Just like I've run up some stairs. So, yes, exactly. It's that healthy blush look I like. And yeah. lovely. And, so that's and the Smashbox are gorgeous, yeah. And again, it's really, it's all about dewy, fresh, like you've made no effort, but you look amazing on holiday. There's nothing water. more upsetting than breaking your powder. I it's, just well, um, the language I've upsetting. used, I won't exactly. uh, have to say it's not been pleasant because especially when it's brand new and you crack it and it's it ends up like, like this. this. Look. I mean it's hideous and it's really upsetting. So I, I mean, normally just tip that, knock that into the bin. Exactly. Well, some people do, some people don't. Now, this is an amazing hack. This is surgical spirit, OK? Right. So quite a high dense of alcohol, you have to, but surgical spirit is good. And what you're doing is you're pouring very small amounts of it, let it dilute, let it dissolve, and then what I'm doing is I'm just mushing it together. I know this seems really strange, but you simply so keep doing, so keep mushing it. OK? Then keep adding a little bit more, a little bit more, until it forms like a paste, and then smooth it over. And I'm not doing you... I did this this morning, this one, yeah. and that was completely shattered, exactly like that, and I've it's just amazing. smoothed it over. And now, obviously, the colour looks a little bit different, but it's only because it's been there for maybe an hour, so, so let it dry. Did all that powder. And it's amazing. And how long does that take to go from this kind of mush Literally to not. drying? I mean, we did that this morning, so two hours. Brilliant. And it's already come to colour, because actually, before we did the rehearsal, it's actually a lot darker, so now it's... Coming back so to any life. powdered thing, an eyeshadow, a blusher, anything? Yeah, I would. I mainly do it with powders, if I'm right. honest, because eyeshadows have glitters and things in yeah. them. So when it's just a solid particle, like a powder or something like that, it works better. But it's so Look good. Look at this. We've been applying. We think, what else is around the house that you could actually put to good cosmetic use? Tim, give me this. What do you see? I know you love this. A don't you? wine rack. We've here. all got Look. one of these. Look how organised would your that's only hairspray. Look and his brushes. Look at that. It's so and good. And his root spray. Because I. Find you always throw these away because you obviously yeah. want bigger ones, don't you? Yeah, well, <laughs> just saying. Um, and also you can put hair tongs in there and things like that, and it's all neat and tidy. You know where everything is. It's just not good. Compact. That's very good. good. This is from the Body Shop. Now this is a lovely. This is basically a kind of 
gym for your face. So what it's doing is you're massaging the muscles, right. okay? So you do all your nighttime skincare. So what this does is it drains any lymph glands or anything like that around your face, and you simply just roll it onto your chin here. This is always an area that women do worry about because this is a bit where your gravity right. takes its toll. You can go up and down your and neck. And that hasn't got any electric current. No, it's just nothing at all. So you simply just have a really nice little flow with that one. It's absolutely gorgeous. That one's from the Body Shop, and that's £16. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right, next. Let's move on to, this is, Antonia Burrell's face. Have, no, 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 I'm just, oh, just okay, in yeah. case you're wondering, uh, wondering about it. <laughs> that no, this is okay, Antonia that's, Burrell's that's what we're using here face today. in a box. Now, these are cuppings. Now, have ever, you guys ever been I've cupped? I've never had a... As in <laughs> cupping on your back, oh, like a I massage. See. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. As you can see, Karen is doing it. It's an amazing technique of using cupping, but what you do is you simply place it onto your skin, suck and pull. And what you're doing is you're dragging, so you're giving that lovely massage to the face. You have to be very careful. Hang on, is that good? Unpuck, unpuck, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, really? Because... Well, you will have, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little I mean, mark on there now. Guys, this is why we've got models to do this. Okay, sorry. I'm just saying, sorry. like, you know. I just want to try it. Because it will stimulate oh, blood supply. It will bring redness to your face. Okay, you're still going to do it anyway. Are you... <laughs> yeah. You've they also come in different skin sizes. The world, See, I've got massively stretchy skin. But it's really good for the jawline. It's really good for drainage. And it basically stimulates a face massage. So it's really good for your skin. And if you can do it at night time, it's really... Oh, my goodness, you've got very elastic. That's it's, isn't it? Good, it's, good uh, it's amazing. People don't realise how much skin I've actually got on my face. That's amazing. I mean, that is impressive. <laughs> the, uh, the other trend. Wow. Uh -huh. You've got like a little uh -huh. love bite there. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Stop doing it. <laughs> nice. NYX eyeshadows. Now, this really excites me because normally when eyeshadows are under ten pounds, the pigment aren't as good. Yeah. Um, but these are that brilliant. That would be like my everyday. Color. Yeah. So, and if I just show you, I'm not even going to use a brush. If I just show you. There. Space. So you can see it. I mean, it, it's such a lovely, subtle, oh, yeah, nice. wearable like colour. It's like a rose. And you can just keep layering it on. That's yeah, that's it. lovely. And then, John, I think red is more your shade. <laughs> Let's get you. Oh, that would look gorgeous on your eyes. <gasps> He's not sold. He's not sold. <laughs> no, I, listen, listen, when I do, when any characters I play, Sometimes if it's a bad bad character, I do a little bit of shadowing mm -hmm. around yeah. the eye. And if there's any of if it's a happy, bright character, we do a little bit of light shading yes. around there. So yeah. Well this Ooh, is to me, yeah. this is your everyday. Great for summer holidays, you can pack it away. And you yeah. know, you're getting six shades for under ten pounds, so a great time to experiment and see yeah, what shades work for you. Now, this product what's really this? <laughs> excites me. Even they have brought out SPF 50 is nothing new, but I think people get quite afraid to wear SPF 50, especially for everyday life, because they think it's going to be white and clogging and just make you look like yes. you've got SPF. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Just hold that one there so they can get a look at it. And is this an eye cream? Notice I didn't yelp then when you put <laughs> my finger in the uh, lid. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Did that on purpose, of course. <laughs> so sorry, Phil. <laughs> I really wanted to make a big moment over this Yeah, one, you so. did. Yes, you did. <laughs> so what, what is it? Is this an eye cream? Though? Right, is no, this so this all is over... SPF for all over your face. So if I show you, OK, so it comes out and you think, oh, that's white, I'm nervous. But then, because you have put loads on, it kind as of... As you are, oh, it's it actually pink? a little bit like makeup. It's got like a glow, interesting, like, oh, pinky blushes. Oh, that is good. So that is like makeup SPF. And it's not, um, yeah, it doesn't go white you, at all. Yeah, and if you feel that, and it that gets is, kind of matte as yeah, well. Yeah, it's perfect for under makeup. Oh, I like and it. now is the time. We've got to start introducing SPF 50 as the weather gets warmer, especially. And that is And not... we were learning the other day that the sun is just as uh, harsh yes. on your skin in April as it is in August. Yeah, it is. It's People, strong. they don't think they need it, but no, they it's do. It's a very popular do. morning on. show. I heard that <laughs> on. So, what I've done is I've started work already this side on Sarah, so you can see I'm just lifting those shadows there. Now, a good tip to start with is to use a primer first, mm -hmm. um, particularly if your eyes are oily or skin's oily, because this will really help to stop the concealer from splitting and, and separating. I'm actually just using um, some moisturiser on Sarah because she's got very dry skin at the moment. Now, the trick so you is... you put the primer under the concealer first? Yes, yeah. yeah, because often you put, you know, lots of concealer on, it's all separated within sort of five minutes, particularly if you're oily. 
Now, the trick is with under eye circles, I feel like there's two distinct types and everyone will recognise what they are. There's those very purpley blue under eye shadows, it's usually genetic, or there's more of a sort of pigmentation, so it's a dark browny green. And what you need to do, rather than use the shade of concealer that you would, you know, to match your skin tone, it's using a colour that lifts those colours. So if it's purple and blue, you use an orange or a peach colour corrector. Color, okay. And if you're more of the sort of brown and green, it's pink. So it can look quite bright. Like I'm going to use this one, and you might think, well, that looks awfully sort of Let's have a look at bright. Hang on, sort of that still? Yeah, so that looks like bright pink. It looks like bright pink. It's Which quite. Would not, it's... I'd think I don't want to put that on my eyes. Exactly. It worse. That's what you would think. However, if you use this, just look up for me, darling. If you use this. Just dab on quite a bit first into that area. And what it's doing, it's just lifting that colour. So you're not getting that kind of ashy feel. So you buy palettes then with different you buy the yellow palettes, tones and, and the pink tones. And what's so great is that lots of these palettes now not only have correctors in, but they also have concealers. Okay. And they're available for all different skin tones as well. So if you're darker skin, you'd want quite a bright orange. The brighter the tone, the darker the skin. So open your eyes for me. Already that's just that orange colour. And you can see it's already starting to really lift the dark circles. It's yeah. taking away the blueness. And then on top of that, you can just use your regular concealer that you normally would use, so the one that really matches your sort of skin tone. And the trick here is to really blend in those edges, so you almost have to feather down onto the foundation a little bit, yeah. rather than have that kind so of... So do you start with the eyes and the concealer and then do your foundation, or do you do it the other way? I do it the other way around. I do base first and then concealer. And I often, you know, right till the last minute, I'm just touching yeah. up concealer, so don't sort of feel that... You have to. Um, and then you've got the, the budget. The budget concealer you've used here. This is yeah is the NYX one, which is fantastic because it has got a couple of correctors in and some different tones. So throughout the year, if you were to get a tan, you can sort of mix and match. And then your luxury one is the NARS. Is that right? The luxury one today is this Mac one. Oh Mac, sorry. Which um, yeah, again these come in all different skin tones. These are fantastic. They have correctors, concealers. You can sort of be an artist and just okay. mix the tones to suit. And you can really tell when you've got it right because you just pop a little bit on and you can see them lift instantly. Okay. I love a face mask. Yeah, I love a face but mask. But also people that want to kind of take control of what goes into their ingredients, okay? So we've got this little face mask making machine. What? Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how fun this is. This is a this sheep is... face mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me show you here. This is £34.99 and I'm going to show you how you make it. So I'm doing an anti-aging one, okay. okay? So this has actually got carrot and orange. So it's like a smoothie. So anything you want to make. So you can get smoothies from the shelf, you can make it yourself, whatever you want to put in it. Mm. Obviously, the booklet will have all those kinds of things in it. So you literally do half a cup of water. Yeah. In it goes. I'm so excited about this. So this is carrot and orange. In yeah. It goes. Just you juice. Take, yeah, just juice. This is a collagen tablet, which comes with the product as well. You pop that in, and then you simply turn this. Oh, I'm going to like and then this. Press. Now, this does take a while. It takes longer than a few minutes. So here's one I made so earlier. Hang on, does that just pour out? It actually is quite like out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, you need to be careful when it, it slides sets. there. And then it sets. This takes a few minutes to set. I would put it in the fridge if I was you. No but this way. one is made out of red wine, people. And what does that yeah. do? What does red, red wine do? is actually really, really moisturising. So you can use apple juice, red wine, milk, olive oil, whatever you want. Have a little fill of it. It's quite slimy. Oh, it's great. Really though, right? slimy. Are and you then you just put it on? No, we're not gonna put it on because it smells, well, you it can smells lift of it an empty wine glass left it does over night. Oh, it really does. It's like the ones that you get, you know, after a it's party. It's quite slippy. I mean, I love a face mask, so I'm happy. I mean, you can pop it on oh. yourself, by all means. That's oh, brilliant. No. How long does that take to go? I want oh, it. it's broken. Oh, you oh. Oh. <laughs> Leave oh, the face mask. Look at the state of that. <laughs> it will. It's yeah. incredibly fragile. It is very fragile, but they are very fragile on the face. How do you get that on your face? You have to just literally flip it onto your face and you sit there and look beautiful. Flip it on. Moving, moving on. Okay. We've all heard of... <laughs> You look like bats. You will look, you look like Robin. Robin. I promise. <laughs> How's it feel? It stinks of old wine. <laughs> Does it? Or is that me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, eyebrows. We have got the Rimmel Wonderful Brows. So if you are someone that hates dilly dallying around with a pencil, mm -hmm. this is where. This is what I need. A little. Right. Let's do your brows. My for brows you, are a little. Okay, uneven. you swap with me. Look. Girl. Okay. So well, all we need to do is just brush them up. 
So can you see there? Yeah, it's it's more of a... It's got a little colour in it. It's got a little bit of colour. Great, it's a little bit like a root touch-up. So actually, if your brows are going grey, you can use it to colour them in. And it's meant to just give a healthier, yeah. fresher feel, rather than a new brow shape. Yeah, because that's the thing. Sometimes that's scary when you look like you've been attacked to some permanent marker. I don't want to be Should uneven. I do a different, different colour? Oh, yeah, go on. So if, if you were in a, you know, like a uh, in need of doing your roots on your hair, yes. you could also use this as a quick touch-up. You touch could, up but there are, the so, there are so many good hair root touch-ups. You, you might need a bigger one. I think this, this, this might day. take you, you might be late for work if you use this one. Yeah. Another thing, um, you know, if you've got old plant pots, buckets, things like that, and lots of people, again, I'm known for this, having my brushes in just a skanky bag. <laughs> We've all done I it. I can't imagine you being skanky. My kit's immaculate, you should see my stuff at home. <laughs> But I love this. All you need is a bucket. So you can get these really, really yeah. cheaply or a plant pot. Pop a little bit of rice in it. You can do this without tipping it everywhere. And just simply pop your brushes in so they all stand up and you can see them. My little sister has been doing this for years and she does it with coffee beans, so it smells really nice. Oh, that's right. Or and you could get scented things. You could yeah, put scented oils you, in that and all you sorts. Can do whatever and you, you like can for the see nice exactly things. what you need there. Exactly, and it looks pretty and you know where your brushes are, so it's quick and it's yeah, easy. Like that in the, what, in the fridge? This will be in the fridge and then you would just pop it on and you can just brighten your eyes and there you go. So it's just, the eye bag it's just chilled. Chilled in the fridge and it's just going to brighten the eyes. Brighten the eyes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Just in terms of that wake up. That feels really nice. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Lots of information there.